The journey to Savo was very exciting and full of adventures. This being the first time the Kenyan kids on safari had a chance to visit Savo. You could tell the excitement on the kids' faces as they held their video cameras documenting each and every moment they had during their game drive. The different species of animals and birds graced their experience more so the close-up encounter with them was amazing. Todd Cromwell explains to us the uniqueness of this project in Savo compared to that one of Samburu. This particular project in Savo is different mainly because of geography and the, uh, uh, the topography, the, the type of mountains that you have here. Uh, but, uh, and, and I think it's a little more relaxed, the scene. But the kids, the kids are no different. Uh, except some are pastoralists and some are uh, school kids and some are shepherds and their the variety, but their reaction to the program is just as strong as it is in Samburu or, or the Mara. James Ntopai and Stephen Kibuna led the kids on a series of bonfire nights during their stay in Savo. The kids cheerfully gathered around the bonfire, sang African songs and danced. Some shared their stories from home on their encounters with wild animals. Evans Mongura shared his own memorable moment of how elephants invaded their home. Uh, when I see, uh, when I come here to the park, I enjoy. I see gorillas, my baboons, lions, and buffalo, and uh, hyena. I have learned to to take care environment and to keep animals. Hi, my name is Emily Lester and I am a professional aerial artist. I came here to Africa for the first time this last week to work with the Kenyan kids on safari. Um, it was a pretty life-changing experience for me. I had a wonderful opportunity to uh, work with the children doing physical education classes in the field. And one of the things I really noticed about this group of kids was just their thirst for knowledge and how much they are receptive to anything that you give them. It's really magical and unlike anything I've ever seen before. And I can't wait to come back and see this program really flourish to what I believe could be something really instrumentally changing uh, the way that these kids and Kenya really sees wildlife and conservation. Uh, it's been a pleasure for me personally and my kids. We have learned a lot. And initially we had uh, that negative attitude towards wildlife, but now since we came here, we have become ambassadors of uh, uh, conservation. Our kids have also learned a lot. They had that low self-esteem, but now for the three days we've been here, they have changed, and now their self-esteem is high. And I, I hope when we go back home, we are going to be good ambassadors and we will conserve our environment. Uh, one interesting thing is that uh, uh, the kids uh, who are coming from uh, around this place, uh, some of them are actually my, we are very close, I come from the same community, so you find it is very, it has, the program itself has touched me, in the sense that we are actually empowering conservation knowledge to young stars and we hope that it's going to be sustained to a greater level. 
You could tell from the interaction and learning sessions that the education on how to conserve the environment and wild animals was a great eye-opener to the kids and their teachers. This being the first time we are in Savo, we can promise you that we are going to be back many more times. And because already the willingness is there for you to continue wanting to learn, then we will do our very best to make sure that what the seed that has been planted in you continues to grow. And when that seed grows, then for sure you become an ambassador. Well, we're just going by the places that have given us a good reception and are going to willing to work with us. And I gather that uh, uh, this uh, Sarova operation here with Willie is very positive about what we're doing. And I think we're getting big enough that we can be a little bit choosy and, and not have people that just want to uh, see how much they can get out of us. This is the future. If they take care of the environment, we'll have no problems. And I'm glad that we chose also this area, Savo, to come and educate our young minds, impart conservation in them. Kenya kimen fresha zaidi ni kusoma kuhusu photos pia kuona wanyama eh hey. I am in class 7 I like playing football and doing exercises I have learned that we are supposed to take care of the wild animals You are helping me to conserve this area and that's why when I came the first group was telling them you are now young rangers I am a ranger so you guys are now young rangers being put through your paces so that you understand what is conservation and why we conserve. When I go home, I'll, I'll tell my friends about how to protect wild animals. I think they're, they're like kids everywhere in, in Kenya and they warm up to you once they get to know you and I'm so glad I have a Kenyan team that can make them feel at ease. Uh, Mr. Dodi, uh, you have come up with a very good uh, uh, program to actually impact this message of conservation to these very young uh, uh, minds so that as they grow with this message they can now uh, learn to take care of the environment, uh, take care of the, the, the work life uh, and by the end of it all, the society outside there will be now understanding uh, Kumbe killing or burning uh, and, and doing any, any kind of destruction to this wildlife is bad. I'm happy. By the time we are coming here, we are, we are fresh and we will, we will, we will see like, hey, what, what elephant, what lion, what? What about it? But now I can mingle, I can interact with this animal. In fact, Mr. Uh, Donut, you uh, really made me feel like Kumbe, Kumbe, we can stay with these animals without any problem. The only thing is understand how to how to interact with them. Thank you. Since I came here, I've learned many things, such as taking care of the environment and how to take the photos. Since I come here, I will teach them photography, take, keep, take care of the environment and protecting animals. Thank you so much, James and Steve. The knowledge impacted is sure to reach other regions in Kenya through the kids and their teachers. This will go a long way in making a difference in the lives of the kids and the society at large. Finally came the graduation day, which was a very successful day for the Kenyan kids on safari and everyone who graced the event as narrated through their experiences. Asante sana Mr. Todi na timu yako. Thank you very much. Asante sana. Asante sana. Asante sana Kenya kids on safari.